Good afternoon. Welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 837. And today we're going to talk about purpose. And the title I wrote, which may be a little bit obvious, maybe a little misleading, is basically um, how you live your life is the expression of your purpose. And I'll explain that in more detail and give you some tips and maybe some realignment of how you can do it most effectively. Hi, Erica. Nice to see you in my broadcast. So before I jump into the topic at hand and explain everything, at least the best I can remember to do so, let me introduce myself and explain why I do what I do and who I am, what I'm about, that sort of stuff. So hi, my name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't figured that out already. And besides being a daily Facebook Live broadcaster, and I'll tell you more about, about that in a second, I am an inspirational speaker and love and relationships expert. I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work and also inspired these talks. And I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for men and women, couples and singles that will change your life. I think so anyway. I wrote the book. So I'll put links to that at the back end with a couple other things I'll probably recommend during this broadcast. And so being a passionate champion for the divine feminine is what started my doing these talks over th- almost, th- almost three years ago. It was December 2016, so yeah, almost three years ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 837, so I've done a bunch of these, and I'll tell you all about that. We can find those at the back end of the broadcast, just let you know what's coming ahead. And the topic today is about purpose. In particular, hi Della, and I've seen my broadcast as well. Um, today we're going to talk about how you live your life and how that matches to expression of your purpose. Because I was talking to a friend of mine this morning, I should say, I was responding to a friend's post this morning, and I wrote that out without realizing what I said, and I was like, that's kind of profound and kind of obvious at the same time. So I want to break this down for you in a way that makes sense and maybe give you some next steps. And if you want to get some further help, I can offer some help as well. So what I mean simply is because a lot of people are like, you know, searching for a purpose, trying to discover what your reason for being here is and everything else. There's a lot tied up into this. And I was on that quest for a while too. I even taught a workshop called Revealing the Purpose of Your Heart. So I'm guilty of teaching like purpose specific type stuff. Except I'm not, not guilty because it was something I was doing out of the passion of my life because that was the thing. I was living in my expression of life what my purpose was about. And it is that sense when you really get to clear about what your purpose is, it's the same as breathing. So it is the way you live your life. It is not necessarily, and let me say this way, for some people they believe, and I did myself, so I'm guilty as charged, um, of believing purpose was something tied up with a profession or a business thing that we would do that would be expression of our purpose. Now, yes, that could be included, but not only that. Another piece I want to talk to is um, actually about mission, which mission and purpose do get interwoven sometimes. And they're not all the same thing, but there's an overlap. And the reason we call to speaking about that, because I want to quote from one of my favorite authors, Richard Bach, who wrote in Illusions, there's a way to discover if your mission on earth is finished. If you're still alive, it isn't. That's kind of crystal clear to me. And I like that because it speaks to the point that it's about the life you live as much as it is about the career you lead. Because for many people, their purpose isn't about career. It's about something you do in their life that is a, it's an act of service, it's also a contribution to society. And this is the thing for me. Purpose is something you are adding to the world in value some way, some shape or some form. If you're being detrimental to those around you or you're taking something for yourself, that's not purpose. Now, your purpose may be something that generates a lot of revenue for you, or it might not. Either way is fine because purpose is not financially dependent. So I want to separate these things out because purpose is something about our calling, our desire, our yearning to express more of who we are in the world in a positive contributory way. It's the way it is. And for me, that was something I got mesh, I got muddled up inside for a while. So maybe I'm teaching this to myself as much as I am to you. But understanding that your purpose is tied to the way you live your life is a great freedom in a lot of ways too because for many people especially well no I'm say it that way okay let me do let me put this on the table because it's been a thing that I talked about before which is now I'm course correcting because I didn't know enough about it I've been speaking about how for a mask a man who's discovered who's discovered well, that's what I was doing or remembered his masculine heart a man who's aligned with masculine heart the first thing before his relationship is his purpose which I still know is true. I've also said before this now that I take that second after your relationship to spirit, but that's another conversation. But the idea about putting purpose first, because as masculine men, we are generally, again, more linear, more 
aligned to sing one thing at a time, step by step by step, purpose comes first, so it's fully running operational, then we can have a relationship. Well, if purpose is the way you live your life, is there any time you can be ready? Absolutely there is. But I want to break this down this way to say that when you're living your purpose fully and expressing it in the world, it's something that is as automatic as your breathing, which means having something else happen in your life, like a wonderful relationship, it's easy because your purpose is not competing with it. And this is the thing some people have wired up, and I did myself, so maybe, I don't think it was just me, but other people did too, that somehow we had a competition if we, as a, mas as a masculine person, masculine man primarily, the focus that we're bringing to the world is such that we have to have one thing at a time really strong and then everything else comes follows. And purpose sometimes becomes like, for me, blotting out everything else. And it has been that way for me for a while. But I'm realizing more and more, especially after some experience I had this weekend, that my purpose is actually the way that I um, live my life. So everything I do in my life, every interaction I have, is supporting my purpose rather than being competitive with it. And that's a big shift for some people who get this because it's one of the things I've discovered more and more for my own journey, for my own expression, that really to live in a way that's aligned to what I do in the world as purpose means that everything is contributing. It's actually a form of freedom. Now, I was speaking to that about masculine man one thing after the other, and some women have said to me before, and I was questioning about this myself, well, if a man's purpose comes before his relationship, what about a woman? How does she and her feminine have purpose? And now I can say, as I said in the title, it applies equally to women, is that the way you live your life is the expression of your purpose. And that makes it so much easier, frankly. I mean, I guess I shortcut it by saying this. But the realization is that what we do in life is our purpose by expression. Nancy, hi, how are you? Um, hi, Nina. Whoops, bump, 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 camera. So many lives, so little time. So many lives, a little time? So many Facebook lives, you mean, or so many lives to live? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, but <laughs> yes, I've done, I've done a lot, I know, for me personally. And congratulations on a new offering. I saw that on your, your wall. That was awesome. Um, rewind a second. Thank you. I appreciate you giving your light and, and, and your secrets, baby both, yes. So what I'm saying is that for men and for women, for masculine men and authentic, authentic masculine men, authentic feminine women, and yes, there are those that switch, the switch roles where it's feminine and masculine the other way, the, the, the core thing is true. And, it, and for me, it's almost like an epiphany, but it's also so simple, is that for anybody, everybody, hi, Nina, nice to see you. Um, how we live our life is the expression of our purpose. Man, woman, straight, gay, doesn't make a difference. This is actually a freedom for me to understand and say it this way because I've always held it where masculine must have purpose first before relationship. And I didn't have, and I always said for women, you can do both at the same time. That was very simplistic and it wasn't really clear. But now I see it this way, that it really is about how you live life. It's like, oh, now it's easy. Not, well, it's easy to express and explain it. Not always to live it though, because this is the thing. Because how you live your life is the expression of your purpose, it may require you to step up to a new level of how you live your life. Because some people are going, no, my purpose is in a little box over here, and the rest of my life over there, yeah, it's all different. No, your purpose, it pervades your life. It, 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 in, it fuels everything. And by so doing, how you live your life and interact with other people, how you express yourself, and how you give and contribute. Because again, as I said, purpose is a contributory to the world. It's additive, not subtractive. If you're living life where you're subtracting from the world, taking from the world, being selfish about it, that ain't your purpose. That's ego. That's a different conversation. I'm not going to go into it here. I actually have another topic for tomorrow, I think, about masculine macho that really came clear yesterday as well. I've had some downloads this weekend. So anyway, so staying true to this topic, understanding that how we live our lives is our expression of purpose means that you can look at everything you do in your life and see how your purpose colors it tints it, lights it up, changes it, inspires it. So when you're out in the grocery store, or you're out, or you're on your social media, or you're on the phone with people, whatever it is you're doing, you can ask yourself, how does my purpose impact this? How does my purpose inform this? How does my purpose add to the conversation? When you realize that your purpose is pervasive in the way you live your life, it changes everything. It also means, <laughs> But it's also good to know what your purpose is because for some people they haven't got a clue. And I have actually a little home assignment I can give you if you want. I'll leave, it, I'll leave a link at the end where they'll help you a little del so del del a delf. A self discovery, not delf, self discovery practice you can play with. But the thing I want to get back to is every interaction you do, 
everything you have in your life, the way you, the way you make love, the way you connect with friends, the way you do business, the way you drive your car even, can all be tied together with why you're on the planet, your purpose, your why, your calling. And when you understand that fits together so easily, it actually makes things a lot easier, at least it does for me. And so recognizing, and I think part of it was, 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 a, was springboard, it sprung board, how do you say that? It was, was, was launched because yesterday I was at, when I was at Agape, a friend of mine, I just felt, I just I basically caught her in my arms because I felt her heartbreak. She was going through some major stuff. And I didn't say a word, but I recognized that the very act I was doing was expressing my purpose. So it, it sort of disengaged me from the idea that I've got to keep teaching for my purpose to be alive, or I've got to be, um, you know, speaking in front of big groups or coaching clients to an endless degree to express my purpose. Yes, that's all part of it. But the very act I yesterday of just holding my friend in my arms to cradle her in an upset was expressing my purpose because my purpose is serving the feminine as part of my work. And so I recognize now more and more that every interaction and everything I do in my life is part of that, which is easier and harder at the same time. Easier because now I know it fits in everything. There's no, de there's no delineation saying, well, I need to focus on my purpose now. Harder because it looks at, okay, so what am I doing to betray that? Because sometimes I do things that go, that wasn't clean. So it's giving me a, a direction, a path back to owning my purpose more easily, everything I do. Because it also means that my um, posts on social media, but also how, it's like they talk about how, um, oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a quote from somewhere, if I remember the quote, that talks about how your, um, like, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, what is it? It's about tongue, not tongue tied, it's a different thing. It's about how you speak a truth and how you can speak falsehood, something like this. There's an old quote from way back about this, but anyway, it's gone now. What I'm attempting to try and explain with that quote that I can't remember <laughs> is that the words that I now say more as I'm present to it, I speak from that direction. And this is the thing is that when we speak falsehoods, we're not lined up to our truth. Because purpose to me is aligned to who we are, our truth, our beingness, and what we're about more and more. And that's the thing I'm getting, on, I'm honoring and owning more and more in my daily life because I feel it driving my life. Again, towards contribution, towards adding to the world to be an expression of good and uplifting in my messaging and in my work. That's not about taking from the world. That's the difference again. If you're driven by a thing to get something, that's not purpose driven. I'm, I'm clear about that. But also it means that every interaction I have now is shifting and everything I do for myself and other people is sparked by that thing, that purpose inside. So I'm hoping you're seeing, if you catch this idea I'm sharing, that you're taking it on for yourself. Because I do firmly believe and I'm, I'm excited about this more now than I was before, that how you live your life is the expression of your purpose. It sounds simplistic now as I say it. But it, it, it's, I, can feel the, I can feel the layers peeling away of going deeper and deeper, and I hope this is feeling, you're feeling it with yourself. Because this understanding, it, it's, it's, it shifted something in me. I guess what I'm saying is I'm speaking selfishly here. <laughs> but having said this for, since this morning, it was literally a post this morning. I, was, I, was, I saw a friend's post it around breakfast time, and I just commented on it, and I'm like, oh, that was good. So I saved it to put into this broadcast. And I'm feeling something that is realigning for me. So if it is for you, great. If it is, for, it is for me, which is not saying it's selfish about it, but I want to just say honoring that place because we all have this um, opportunity to claim ourselves back to ourselves. And the thing about purpose, as I'm understanding, is it is not about necessarily a product or a thing that we do. It's a way we do things. If your purpose is to love, it shows up in all, shows up in all your communications. It shows up in all your interactions. It shows up in all your relationships. It shows up in everything you do. Hi, Mary Lynn. Nice to see you in broadcast. Thank you for being here. So understanding this piece as I'm grokking it and, and, and integrating myself, I'm seeing that there's a powerful shift that I can take on now. I'm saying this publicly so I know I can't hide. <laughs> a powerful shift I'm taking, I can take on now that changes the way I interact with everything. And so understanding that purpose is the way that I live life, or should I say purpose is the expressed by the way I live my life, Kind of cool. I'm feeling that. Uh, I'm just. I'm just literally just sort of embodying and taking it on now, which is kind of cool. So, thank you, Mary Lynn. Truth bombs. <laughs> Much appreciated. So, uh, my invitation to you, throwing this out, so it's not just for me. It's for you, ideally. 
is that perhaps you can look at your life and see how the things you do in your life are actually reflections to you, are symptoms in a positive way of your purpose being expressed. So when you are in the world and you're interacting with people, what is it that lights you up? Oh, here we go, a little teaching coming on. <laughs> Another layer of the teaching, which is when you're out in the world and you're expressing in your, in your life, whether it's with the grocery store or with, with your loved ones or with coworkers, what things in those interactions light you up? Because that's a clue. That's a symptom, as I said. That's a, a indicator that you're on, on course to your purpose work. It's a new tool. Okay. So I mentioned I have a, 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 a revealing, a, a, so let me try that again in English. <laughs> I did say that I have a purpose assignment that I gave out in a workshop I took like um, seven years ago, eight years ago. I decided to workshop called Revealing the Purpose of Your Heart. And now I'm realizing seeing another piece of it fitting together. So if you want, I can send you the PDF that I gave him as a homework assignment, which is a couple of exercises. But this one alone, if you take this one on, to find out what lights you up in your life, in your interactions, that really does uplift you. And again, contributing to the world around you. So it may uplift you, and it also must in uplift those around you. If it's selfishly activated, again, that's not purpose, that's ego. So I'm getting on it, it's clear. Because the wonderful thing about purpose is it shifts you out of your ego because you're contributing. Having said that, again, well, Mary Lynn, I'll put a link, I'll put a link in, the, um, in the comments at the back end. Thank you for asking. I'll put a link in the back end of the comments, which will be a contact form, so you can send me your, your email, and I'll send you that by email back. It's a PDF, and it's easier to do that through email than it is through Facebook. At least for me, it is. So thank you for asking. Um, hey, Nancy. <laughs> Everyone's meeting up here. So what am I... Let me gather my thoughts for a second here as I'm getting distracted by the comments, which I love. Focus on the, the things that you do, the conversations you have, the understanding and connection you have with people that lights you up. So having that recognition, having that tool. Hey, Nadia, I didn't see you were here. Oh, Nancy, you're saying hello, Nadia, okay. Um, <laughs> I've had this distinct feeling um, another behind behind the live party <laughs> yeah nice exactly so recognition is that we're driven by what inspires us when you lose track with that you get lost and it can be painful but when you find that when you find that spark inside that lifts you up because when it fills you first again self-filled then you can serve others I talk about that many times about taking care of yourself first when it fills you up first then you can serve serve and share and inspire from your overflow because that's the only way to be living your purpose purpose does not fill you up as a, as a detraction from other people, and purpose does not um, drain you as you serve others. If you're being drained to serve others, I've proven it to myself more than one time in the past, that is not your purpose. That's too much giving, you know? So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that, Nessie. This, this, is, an, this is like an in-the-moment download, because I took the title came up this morning, and this just opened up a new piece. So my understanding of this piece is simple in a way, but it takes practice and discipline and willingness. <laughs> so recognition to the fact that you can be fueled by the light that you shine from your overflow. So again, requirement. Let me, let me make, make it simple. Okay. Your purpose is three things. It's contribution, con contribution to the world and additive to what's out there. It fills you up and fills up the world so it doesn't detract from you. And it fills, you, it fills up the world without you taking from it. No. Full thing. It's driven by what inspires you as well. Just checking off. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that works. So those are four things I can play with. So really getting clear that you have the tools, the ability and the, and the function to be of success in the world of contribution, of purpose, is, fa is powerful. Now, purpose is unique for everybody. We all have our own flavors, our own styles, our own pieces. But that's the thing about this. None of the things I've said are formulaic. And none of the things I've said put you in a box. You do whatever you want to do, how you want to do it. So again, whatever you're doing in the world that is inspiring you and fueling you, that is adding to the world around you without taking from yourself, that also is adding to yourself without taking from the world. So it works both ways. You're adding to both. Yes, tapping into that. Yes, exactly. You have to get out of your head and to allow that flow through. Yeah, heart-centered. Yes, indeed, Nancy. Perfectly said. That piece is the shift. That understanding of being driven to serve because you are full is powerful. Well, <laughs> I, love all, I love all the interaction, by the way. I'm just going to sit back and watch and, and see what you're saying to each other. Um, 
Oh, by the way, this is a Facebook Live, so these comments may not appear, won't appear on YouTube. So I'm not going to go through all of them because they were offline for those people watching, just to be clear. Um, so to summarize this, as I'm attempting to get back to the point, <laughs> is we all have purpose. It is additive to our lives, additive to those around us. It fills us up and fills out the world. It is a positive additive experience and it can be done every way, every way in every, every interaction you have in your life. To add to that, again, I'll give, I'll put the homework assignment out. If you want to get that, I'll put the link in the comments for a contact form. You can fill out to send me and I'll email you back the PDF downloads. You can work on that. Um, I will put my book in the comments because I love my book and I promote it a lot. Um, two more things I'll add in the comments just for that. Just seeing how you can snap in and out of the download with ease. Yes, well, it's <laughs> it's easier now after 830 something broadcasts, it gets easier. So, oh, he's doing Danette, he's doing Marilyn about that. Okay, yes. All right. So, summarizing quickly. So, four things in the comments. Contact forms. You can reach out to get the the um, purpose download if you want to get that. The the workbook. Two. Um, my book will be in the comments. Yeah, 830 something. Yes, exactly. Um, also, the self-love practice, because it's again a requirement, because you you've got to fill, yourself for, fill up your own battery first before you can add to the world, contribute to the world, serve the world. Self-love first, love everybody else after that. That's the way I teach it, the way I love it, and the way I promote it. And fourthly, um, for those of you in relationship stress, challenge, not sure what to do, I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me, my gift to you. That's four things in the comments, and I think you've got my point. So quick reminders, this is my Facebook Live. I do it every day, the, every day of the week at 7 p.m., sorry, seven days a week at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby. Please join me tomorrow if you're, not here, if you're watching this in replay. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, or if you have seen them, you want to see my replays on my, pers on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, you find all my replays. You can watch them there. Additionally, yes, self-care, self-love and self-care is the way to go. I teach that's why I've got a self-love meditation, which is going to be in the comments. So thank you for the reminder as well. And secondly, thirdly, thirdly, <laughs> thank you. Um, third, thirdly, in the, um, my YouTube, give me clear, okay. For, join me live, replays, replay, yes. My, my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, which is youtube.com forward slash Barry, user forward slash Barry Selby. I have a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like my business page on Facebook. I always like to get people to play on that way. And you can watch them all there. There's also an easy way to sort through to find all the replays. So if you have just catching the replay now, go back and watch from the beginning, please, because there's I dropped some big truths in it that came through as I was even planning it. And again, there'll be four links in the comments you can check out when I sign off. I'll put them in the comments afterwards. I do thank you for your interaction. I love all the love and thanks for all the comments back and forward. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for Mary. Thank you for all the people who are joining in. I appreciate that a lot. And uh, how do you live your life? It is the expression of your purpose. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Take care of yourselves. Bye.